Radian is the angle that you get when the arc length equals the radius. Radians are written in terms of pi. Radians are written in terms of pi. For example, there are two pi radians in one complete circle. We use degrees on account of the ancient Babylonians. They are thought to have chosen 360 degrees as the number of degrees in the circle. They track the movement of stars and notice that stars move from one night to the next, one 360th of a circle, and it would take the stars one year to complete a full rotation. The equation for arc length is A equals R theta. The complete rotation of a circle is 2 pi radians. Therefore, C equals 2 pi r. The formula for arc length is, as we already mentioned, r theta. The variables for arc length are a, which is arc length, r, which is the radius, and theta, which is the angle. This formula is only true when theta is in radians. Angular velocity is the change in angle over the time taken to cover the angle. W, known as omega, is used to represent angular velocity. The variables for angular velocity are theta, which equals the change in angle, and t, which equals the time taken to cover the angle. Angular velocity is measured in radians per second. Derive the equation B equals WR by using arc length, angular velocity, and linear velocity, which is just the distance covered over the amount of time it takes to cover that distance. To start, you want to rearrange the angular velocity to find what theta equals. So you multiply by delta t on both sides. And it cancels out. So you know that theta equals W delta T. Knowing what theta is, we can now plug it in to the arc length equation. So A equals W delta T R. It's important to note that arc length is equal to distance. Knowing this, we can plug this information, A equals W delta T R, into the top of the linear velocity equation for D. And then we have the delta T from this original equation on the bottom. And the T's cancel out, so we're left with B equals W R. Sally is on an arc length diet. Her mathematician dietitian recommends that Sally only eat slices of round objects with an arc length of 4.28 centimeters if that round object has a radius of 4 centimeters. What are the angles of these diet appropriate slices in degrees? Before we begin the problem, it's important to note that to convert between radians and degrees, we do radian times 180 degrees over pi radians. The information that we are given in our problem is that A equals 4.28 centimeters and the radius is 4 centimeters. We must first solve for theta. 
To do this, we divide by r on both sides of our arc length equation. This tells us that a over r equals theta. Now that we've rearranged our equation for theta, we can plug in the values for a and r into our rearranged equation. So 4.28 centimeters over 4 centimeters equals theta. The answer is 1.07 radians equals theta. As the answer asks for the answer in degrees, we must convert our 1.07 radians into degrees. In order to do this, we do radians times 180 degrees over pi radians. So 1.07 radians times 180 degrees over pi equals 61.3 degrees. And this is our final answer. Number two is about angular velocity. An engine on a jet aircraft turns at about 12,000 rotations per minute. Find the angular velocity of the engine in radians per second. To solve our problem, the first thing that we need to do is convert the 12,000 rotations per minute into radians. In order to do this, we multiply 12,000 rotations per minute by 2 pi divided by the rotations. The rotations unit will cancel, and we will be left with 75,398.2 radians. You can see by our equation for angular velocity, we've already found, found what theta equals, so now we need to find t. We're using rotations per minute, and a minute equals 60 seconds. So now we have our two variables for finding the angular velocity. We found all the variables that we need for angular velocity. So now all we have to do is plug our numbers into the angular velocity equation. So 75,398.2 radians divided by 60 seconds equals 1,256.6 radians per second. This is our final answer. A scrumptious Winn-Dixie key lime pie is escaping from a hungry family. In his travels, the pie, which has a radius of 13 centimeters, rolls down the sidewalk for a distance of 27 kilometers. This takes him about one hour. What is the angular velocity of the pie? To solve this equation, let's first write out our arc length formula, because we're going to need it to find the angular velocity. You may remember from earlier when we derived v equals omega r that a equals d. Angular velocity equals the distance. Let's write out our variables. We know that a, or d, equals 27 kilometers. We'll change that into centimeters, so that d equals 27,000 centimeters. We also know what r is. It's 13 centimeters. Now that we know our two variables for our arc length equation, we can plug our numbers into that equation. So 27,000 centimeters equals 13 centimeters times theta. We divide by 13 on both sides in order to get theta by itself and figure out what theta is. So therefore, theta equals 2,076.9 radians. Here's the equation for arc length and the um, equation for angular velocity. We couldn't have solved for angular velocity straight away because we didn't know omega or theta, so we found theta using arc length first. Because both equations have theta in common, we can now plug in the answers that we found previously and figure out what omega equals. We know from our problem that it took the pi one hour to go 27 kilometers. Using that information, we can find out what delta t equals. So t equals one hour, but we want that to be in seconds, so we must multiply 60 minutes by 60 seconds, and that equals 36,000 seconds. Now that we have the two variables that we need for angular velocity, we can plug our numbers into the angular velocity equation. So omega equals 2,076.9 radians, over 36,000 seconds. When we divide that, we find that omega equals 5.77 radians per second. We found the answer!